to three-point shooting for the team. Uh, how much room for improvement is there that could help you guys doing those things? Yeah, um, I think we need a lot of improvement on that. Um, when we move, we move the ball, we move people, you know, it creates confusion amongst the defense. And it gives us gaps and openings to get open shots and drive to the lane and make plays. What about the, obviously the line moved back a little bit this year. Does that impact you at all? Did, you, did, that, did that make it harder? I don't think so. I mean, we've, we've had the lines been moved back since about March. So mm -hmm. we've known about it. So no, I don't think so. Didn't have to change the mechanics on your shot at all to, to do anything to compensate really? No. Uh, well, it's strong enough. <laughs> After the game, you, you looked a little, you know, clearly disappointed. How do you bounce back from that and put that in the past and move on to what you got to do this week? Um, the next game mentality, man. You know, it hurts in the moment, but the next day you got to move on and get ready for the next game. You know, it's Pac-12 play now, so it's a quick turnaround. So we always got to be ready for the next game, whether we win or we lose. Coach was talking about how Stanford. Uh, has more turnovers and assists, but they're 14 and two because of their defense, basically. Is that kind of something that when he points that out really kind of hits home? Yeah, that's what he's been telling us. You know, they're the number one defensive team in the Pac-12 so far. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be hard to score against them. So we got to move people and move the ball. Have you started looking at them on film yet? Yeah, we saw them yesterday. What did you see them defensively? Um, they're good, you know, they stand in front of the ball, you know, they make plays, they're good. Are you surprised how good they are? I and mean, they're like the only unbeaten team in the, in the Pac-12. Um, I wouldn't say I'm surprised, you know, I thought, I thought they were pretty good last year, so they added some pieces and they're doing well for themselves. Anything else? Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. The three-point shooting on this team's down pretty pretty big from last year. Um, what do you think's gone into that? I mean, obviously the line moved back a little bit, but we talked to Coach about it. He was saying passing and then moving without the ball to set up good three-point shots is also contributing. From your perspective, what do you think has kind of gone into the three-point shooting? Um, I'd say a lot of it might be um, shot selection. You know, sometimes we get in tough positions where the shot clock is late, so, um, you know, shots aren't as easy. So um, I'd say um, shot selection is some of it. Also, you know, just getting comfortable. Um, on, you know, we, we've been shooting well in practice. It's just a matter of, like, you know, getting that, getting that flow in the games. And, you know, start, once we start knocking some shots down, I feel like we'll, you know, find that rhythm and, you know, be shooting better. Did the, did the line moving back impact you at all? Do you feel like? Um, I don't think so. I mean, we, we knew that it was going to be moving back, and then um, we actually moved the line back and on our practice court a long time ago, like during the summer. So, um, you know, I've, we've just been getting used to it since the summer. How do you get the consistency defensively? Coach was talking about the last two games, the second half defense wasn't as good by far in the first half. How do you get 40 minutes of hard-nosed defense, game in, game out? Well, I think our thing is, like, especially um, in the second half, is, like, second effort on defense, um, multiple, multiple efforts on defense. You know, we have good initial efforts that, you know, maybe um, cause a, a bad shot or a loose ball, but it's that second effort to, you know, box out and get the rebound or um, dive on a loose ball or, you know, even like if we play good, you know, first 15 seconds of the shot clock, you know, you know, sometimes we fall asleep the last, you know, however many seconds on the shot clock. So um, it's just, and I feel like, you know, in the first half we do a good job because we're not, maybe not as tired, but, or fatigued, but it's something that we definitely have to, you know, put an emphasis on and really focus on because we do, play hard for spurts on defense and just like our multiple efforts is something that we have to focus on. You guys had a great kind of refocus after the Cal State Fullerton game and then you had a great game and then since that two disappointing games, is it hard to come back and kind of repeat that process of trying to recapture what you put in to get out of that Washington game? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, you know, 
I feel like I feel like we we've been pretty focused. We just there's just certain things like in the Washington State game. We I feel like we had that game for sure. We just you know started making mental. We had mental lapses, um, but I feel like for the most part we're we're pretty locked in on like this conference play, and we re we really want to win. So um, you know if we have like the desire, the passion to win and do well in this conference, I feel like you know it's not that hard to you know we're gonna take some losses. And we've had two tough losses, but you know we still have 15 or so um, games left in conference. So we we see the bigger picture and we see more opportunity than you know focusing on the last two losses. You guys have had trouble defending the three-point line. Um, what have you guys seen <clears throat> that attributes to that? Is it you know um, not being able to close out, uh, failing to rotate? How how can you improve on that? Um, I feel like sometimes we have a little bit of confusion. Um, on the defensive end, um, just we just need to communicate more, so we so we um, people aren't sort of helping too much. Um, and I think a lot of the times when teams you know shoot well against us from three, it's a lot of times people drive and then they kick out for a wide open three, and that's because sometimes we help too much, or some people um, you know we sometimes get confused. So it's just about communication and knowing when to help less and help more, and just also knowing your personnel. Coach, one of the hardest things for him to coach is passing. Are you guys doing anything in practice to really emphasize that? Yeah, um, we've we've been focusing on drills where um, we're not. It's not necessarily running plays, but we're just you know moving around and we have to you know fulfill a certain amount of passes before we can actually shoot. So um, we're we're definitely trying to work on that. Right. Thanks, Jules. Thanks, Shane. Sure. To get in position for good shots, how much room for growth do you feel like you guys have in those areas? Uh, there's plenty of room for growth. I mean, you know, obviously we're not doing the best right now, so we watching film, we're learning what we need to do, and the, those are one of those things, you know, pass the ball, moving out the ball, not being stagnant in offense. You said last week uh, that your elbow was maybe a little bit out of position on, on your threes. How much have you worked on that, and, and what else are you working on with your shot? Uh, I'm working on that every day. I'm trying to fix it, always trying to improve. You know, I'm trying to get my flow back. So it's about every about every day, every practice. I just got to focus. The layout, the long layoff, do you feel like that impacted your shot too? Oh, yeah. Uh, Injury is going to impact everything on my game, but I just have to push through it. It's part of the game. So I just have to make adjustments and you just have to focus even harder, especially during the end season, about, uh, about the fundamentals and about my mechanics. Confidence-wise, how do you feel currently? Confidence-wise, um, I feel great. You know, I feel confident out there. I just need to play my game and relax. Defensively, you guys, um, he was talking about, Coach was talking about how Stanford has more turnovers and assists, yet they're top of the uh, conference because of their defense. Does that kind of speak volumes to you, to the importance of de what defense can do to overcome other deficiencies? Well, yeah, we know that uh, de defense wins, wins basketball games, so we know we have to step it up. Obviously, Stanford is a, a good team this year and um, number one in defense in the Pac-12, so it really says volumes. You know, they're a good team, so we have to step it up as well. You guys have showed glimpses of the type of defensive team you can be, but being able to do it consistently over 40 minutes has been a problem. How, how do you guys get to that point where you get the mental fortitude to do it for 40 minutes? Uh, it's just mental toughness, uh, staying locked in and engaged for 40 minutes. You know, we've shown sparks over the course of the games. You know, we'll have 20 minute sparks, or even 30 minute sparks, and then lay off in 10 minutes. We have to stay mentally engaged. We have to help each other and come together as a unit to stay locked in for 40 minutes. Last season, you were uh, one of the top uh, three-point shooters in, in the uh, conference. This year, it looks like uh, Jake Hyman is kind of uh, stepping up. What, what, what do you? Uh, what can you say about him and, and uh, uh, his his past few games? Uh, his past few games been amazing. You know, I tell him to shoot it, keep shooting it every time. We need your offense. I try to give him confidence as a freshman coming into a uh, uh, Pac-12 and UCLA. You know, and it's great to have uh, another shooter to um, open up the offense. Thanks, David. Thanks. 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 Thanks.